Hello everybody and welcome back to Provost Gaming and more EU for the Three Mountains playing as Ryukyu. OBK. Let's go kill some rebels and let's win ourselves another war. We will have to be very cautious about that co um, coalition. Ming currently has no aggressive expansion against us at all. So we can go all the way up to like 49 with them and I feel very secure. We just got a lost another general. Come the heck on. All right, fine. Uh, let's see. A 3361 will do just fine with me. Thank you. It's not the best siege value, but whatever. Totorames. Excellent. So that's our first uh, colony done. Cool. Of course, we don't have our colonist back. He is going over here in Mayo, but both of these should be done relatively soon as well. How do you like that, Ming? Yeah, you're trying to expand in California and Washington State. Boo-hoo. Sucks to be you. It's a terrible place anyway. But we're getting freaking Mexico. That's a, that's a lot of troops over here. That's a lot of reinforcements. I'm actually sort of surprised how many reinforcements there are. I will allow the stackage of my loyal vassals. Let's get another general in charge. Um, kind of want to go ahead and knock Lana out of this. Robbing Ming of a tributary will reduce their uh, modifier here a little bit. Not a ton, but a little bit. It helps. Bakuin Separatists. We have even more, but it looks like, uh, well, this is going to be fun. Can we get ourselves another general? Nothing great there. Nothing great there. No. 3221 is acceptable, and I don't feel like sorting for a long time, so let's just go ahead and put this guy in charge. Alright, squish those fools. Good. And then go squish these fools. We'll get a few more years of separatism, but that deals with pretty much everything in Africa. Most things. Ayutthaya is done. Good. Let's go siege down the capital of Khmer. I'm going to try to knock them out of this war. I don't anticipate taking much because of aggressive expansion. Rightful ownership. Betsimarak... What? What? Ebo? This one. You want this? You have a claim. No. If you had a core on something else, I might have considered it. But a freaking claim? Not a chance I'm giving that to you, you little scumbag. Who do you think you are? I am Ryukyu. Marital bliss. Is this the harlot who's treating on me? Alright, so we get a cheap trade efficiency guy. It's pretty good. Okay. Sure. I like cheap trade efficiency guys. I don't need to improve relations faster. Anyway, we might as well just switch them around. Native uprisings. Gosh dang, the camera always sending me up to Alaska. What are you doing? Okay. Uh, what was I going to do? I was going to do something and I forgot what it was. Oh, I was going to check to see if there's any more uh, many factories we want to build. Fish. It's okay. It's kind of hoping for a bit more, you know, ivory. I like ivory. We can replace some barracks. Hello. Oh, but I need more military tech. Never mind. Oh my gosh. Why do I even bother clicking on the go-to? It's a trap every time. Yarkan insults me. May the sky be filled with comets. Oh, ha, ha, that's a funny inside joke right there. You get it? It's, it's comets. May you lose stability. Ha, 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 ha. Ha ha ha, how very amusing. Wow, Ava, you just got wrecked, didn't you? I'm surprised. Sadia is contributing a little bit. Prome, Khmer, yeah, and Sadia. Interesting. Let's see if I can catch some of these small stacks before they go anywhere. Alright, the Mayo Clinic has been built. I'm not even going to bother sending the guy down here. We'll finish this pretty quickly. What else should I colonize, though? Could actually try to move over to Africa. Uh, Eastern Africa, I mean to say. We can reach. That's hilarious. I'm not going to. There is, however, a natural harbor over here. And Portugal is uh, colonizing aggressively in this area. Hmm. Hmm. Deny Europeans islands, get trade power in Zambezi, which is flowing 
this way. Do I want more control of Zanzibar? I almost could justify moving a guy over here to collect. There's money to be had. Or California. I didn't actually manage to... Oh, hello. Portugal. You've got the Galapagos. That's fun. I suppose we could go try for some other islands to increase my range a little bit, but uh, what if we tried in California? You know? Who the heck? Portugal, what do you think you're doing? Portugal apparently is able to reach to California. I definitely don't like that. We could try to mess with them. Wouldn't mind getting over here and grabbing uh, some of these guys. I know I can't get Comanche because they're a tributary of Ming, but that can't last forever, right? Try sending the colonists up over there. Send a couple of reinforcements. Let's go ahead and get started on that. If the Europeans are already getting there, then I, I just don't feel like, I don't feel like risking it. Okay, Khmer's lost their capital. We should be able to jump on these guys. Lan Na. Well, I do not need this spy network anymore. Let's go ahead and pull that out of there. Okay, can I possibly piece these guys out? Take him as a vassal. Do I want to do that, or do I want to just feed them off? I think I feed them off. I say that, that would give me a lot of aggressive expansion. Shocking amount. But we have to get rid of them one way or the other. It turns out it is 47 aggressive expansion to just take him as a vassal, as opposed to 56 to eat it. Hmm... Let's do a little bit of carpet sieging. I think we can do that right now. Should be able to win this fight, right? Yeah, they're retreating. Split, split. Go here, 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 and here. Let's do some carpet sieging in there. Uh, capped out on admin power again. Alrighty, we'll fix that. Oh, hello. Prom and Mong Nai sent troops down here, huh? Yeah, go ahead. See if I even care about my daimyos. They're the ones that suffer the devastation, not me. I could not care less. That's the funny joke of it all. It does not actually affect me in any negative way. Most of you guys need to go here. Pick up a little bit more from Lan Na. Make sure that they're full occupied. The sooner we can conquer them, the better. Uh, because it would give me a little bit of extra aggressive expansion ticking down from Ming. Do I want to go for the Diplo Rep? Or would I rather save up for tech? Trade range and efficiency. It's not bad. I could actually go ahead and grab some corruption, by the way. I'll do that for some cheap money while we're ticking it down. It's going down by 0.33 per year right now. It's not costing me much. Overall, I think it's still worth it. Tender Rebels over there. Doesn't matter. Khmer's going to want out of this war pretty soon, I would imagine. What would you do? Would you give something away? Give this to Ligor, for example, since they have a claim on it. And Chompy, you have claims, right? You have a claim. You got a claim on the, uh, the estuary, though. That was smart. Hey, look at you getting things that matter. Okay, so that's expensive, and that would give me also a lot of aggressive expansion. Uh-huh. Okay, that might be that might be a little bit too much. Ayutthaya being 33 development sure as heck does not help. Okay. Well, first things first, we definitely have to get rid of a tributary of Ming. That is non-optional. Extreme monsoon. Oh, come the heck on. I don't care. Colonialism against Portugal. Yay, we can fight European powers now. I have no idea how that would work. Where do we even get the ticking war score from? I haven't done a colonialism war in so dang long. And do I care about these guys? I mean, what if I could core them? 
Yeah, I can't make it into a core. I didn't think so. Be way too much to hope for. All right, well, there goes the uh, capital of Prom. So that's all done. So we're at 87% war score now. I'm going to go ahead and detach somebody. Go up towards Sadia. Okay, so. Lanna. It will cost me 114. So it's the same Diplo power cost either way. One just gives me a little less aggressive expansion. Which seems fine. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to take you as a daimyo. Go ahead and take your money for good, uh, for good measure. I'm not going to have you give anything up. Maybe my daimyos fight each other. I don't know. All right, so that's done. Okay, stole a tributary, Ming. How do you feel about that? 18. Not as bad as I kind of expected it to be. All right. Yeah, that was uh, that was actually not too bad. All things considered. I do think I want to take this province as my own. Just so that I will be able to fight Bengal and get claims there if I desire. I mean, if I thought Bengal was getting beaten up, then, uh, you know, I would seriously consider attacking him, but I do not actually think that that is the case. So we can hand both of these off. The only problem is Champa would not actually be able to do anything with that. Um. Hmm. But at least we had a claim. So I could get a little bit here. I don't know. I think I'd rather just not take anything from them here. I'll take Ayutthaya because that's an important province to just take away and get the trade power. I'm going to leave this alone and not get a lot of extra aggressive expansion. I just don't think it's worth it. Um, Khmer will an annul all treaties with Ming. Oh, right. Yeah, let's try, um, let's try to break up some relationships and see if we can get those to kind of reshuffle a little bit in the region. Maybe pick something up with, uh, Lanshang or something, I don't know. Cancel subject, Sukhothai. I didn't realize they were your subject. I think it's because they're your tributary. Never mind. All right, we're going to do this. So you're out. Thank you. Okay, so enjoy that one. Little vassal of mine. Let's see. Sadia, do I even want to bother with you? Are you even worth my time, really? Could make you into a vassal for extremely cheap. But how much aggressive expansion would I be looking at? Three? Apparently no one gives a crud about them. Maybe it's because they only have three development. Alright, sure, I guess. I'm capped out on uh, military points. Hang on. Need to pay attention to things like that. That's important. Okay, so there's a lot of peasants now. I guess we should go deal with them. Uh, I don't want to end this war yet. Oh, Truce of Manipur ended. So I should be able to threaten a war with them if Ava was smart and got a claim, which they didn't. But what about you? Ooh, look who has a claim against Manipur. Okay. Hang on. This is perfect. Take them as a vassal, and now we could threaten war, and they should say no, which means we now have a way of going to war with Lan Shang. Yes. Yes. This is beautiful. Much brilliance have I, as he stumbles across the perfect solution to his problems. Much brilliance indeed. All right. Uh, you can just sit tight for a second. We're going to go ahead and piece them out, take them as a vassal. They refuse because reasons. Who has freaking troops left? These guys down here? Oh, fine. I guess I'll go kill them all. If that's what's going to freaking take. You will give up. I'm just, I'll have you know. You will give up. Length of war and everything else. Heck, I'll even force your religion for good measure. Because I'm just that kind of intolerant jerk. Keep 
spend on those Monarch points, so we are very close to getting some extra tech. Should make things a little bit easier. Okay, so they're all gone. Split. Some of you guys go unsiege all this. Look, your alliance strength should be fairly weak. I don't even know where they all are. Did they all go north again? Well, some of them certainly did. Alright. You'll give up in a few months, though. Um, we could get some extra claims. So, claim against Vagina Gar, for example. And I guess I will on, I don't know, Kumari. We have access to a lot of their land, actually. And up over here... I'll just pick up claims on whatever I can get. There we go. How are we looking up here? Pretty good. I was going to transfer some troops over there, but now I think we have better targets. Lost force migration? Mm. No, Yamana, go away. I absolutely have to take you as a daimyo. Not optional, guys. You gotta accept. The more we sell, the more we sow, the more we grow. Production efficiency, Zhongzhou likes me, trade efficiency, and global trade power? Oh my gosh. Better exports. That's nifty. Uh, I don't care about native uprisings. Let's go ahead and just unsiege some stuff for my guys, because they're struggling right now. We won that siege back, so we're up to 99% war score at this point. We still won't accept... Alright, tell you what. Prom? What would it take for you to force them to just give up? <clears throat> I can just talk to them, and they'll just make them into my vassal for me anyway. <laughs> uh, I said I wanted to take that, and I do. Let's hand these off to Ava. Or something. And I'm not going to take a lot. And the reason I'm not going to take a lot is because... Oh, I forgot about these guys here. Oh, right. Mong Nai exists. The reason I'm not going to take a lot is because I don't want to give Ming any ideas with the Coalition. I want that to stay low at least until such a time that I've gotten Lan Shang out of this. Alright. So we have a vassal. Take a couple of provinces. One for me. Take one for you. Take your money. Break off your relationships. And give me war reps. And you are done. Yeah? Making sure I'm not forgetting anything. Don't think so. Okay. Uh, trade lead disbanded. That's fine, though. Okay, so I want to give this back to Ava. Well, I say back. Just give it to them in general. Rather, they core this. Salen, I think it is. I'm sailing away. All right. Troops up here. Can't. Blocked. Hmm. Awkward. Okay. Uh, well then. Champa. I kind of need you to refuse to give me some land. Ha 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 ha! They will say no, no, no. I will get to fight Lan Shang finally. Give some land off to my vassals so that we get extra people bordering against Ming barbarians at the gates. Hey, we met the Holy Roman Empire, and your freaking mandate must fall! Should work, right? Sure as heck hope so. Give me the land. You'll say no. You fool. You sorry fool! You've fallen for my trap card! I guess I'll just send all you guys up here for now. They need to core that still. Guess we'll grab some extra tech, training fields, uh, better cannons, combat width, artillery fire, and shock value. Heck yes. I'll also just grab the admin tech. Ooh, we're close to getting some admin efficiency and universities and stuff. That'll be nice. That'll be uber duper nice. Go ahead and upgrade my cannons. 
Don't care about your world marriage offers, but thank you. I do feel like the prettiest princess. Uh, that's a pretty good manufactory. Yeah, we'll do that. Barracks. Build a couple for there. Training fields. Quite a few here. Let's get that manpower pool up. A little bit higher. Marital bliss. I don't really need another one. But okay. I don't want to have the, rep the reciprocity of my spouse. Who wants that? That sounds like a terrible prize. Um, How many troops does Lanshang have? Not enough to be a big threat. Yeah, we're fine. Sinaloa is done. That is another colony down here in Mexico. I'm going to go ahead and pull the colonist off. Split you up. Send one here. I'm going to start colonizing over here in California again. Just a little bit faster. Extreme Monsoon, again. Gosh, dang. When did this have to become, like, such a huge aspect of the game? Alright, so here's my goal. Take Dahong away. Give it to Ava. Eat Mong Pai, feed to Taungu, and then take Sib Bana and give to them as well. So we have two tributaries bordering with Ming. That becomes the goal. Lanna is mine now. So your tributaries have fallen down to eight. You'll still have Lan Shang by the end of this. And the funny thing is, I may not actually want to take the lands from Manipur. I know, it's crazy. But if someone can get claims against them, I want to do that. I want to keep being able to fight Lan Shang. I don't want to break off these relationships. This is extremely valuable to me. Uh, you're trying to train up some more troops. How cute. Save it for the tech, or go for the ideas. Let me go for the ideas. We can afford to fall behind times in Diplotech a little bit. Unjustified demands is going to make things a lot easier. Uh, let's get my navy out over here. Blockade. Lost an advisor. Military. I'll take the cheap morale of armies guy for now. Just because it's the only... Um, it's the only benefit I actually would care about. Butua. Hello. I will kill you. <laughs> Your f a capital is going to be relatively easy for me to find and take on. Uh, Navy has arrived. Hello, 23,000 Ming troops. How you doing? I can just persuade the people that the heaven is no longer on their side. Ah, the things I could do. Hatakayama has gone bankrupt yet again. It's a joke at this point. Mahri? Where's Sokotra? Oh, hello. I can't actually raise autonomy here. Uh-oh. I didn't really want to deal with that. Now I kind of feel like I have to. Okay, go for the capital of Lancheng. This will be easy. Very easy. Uh, hello. I forgot about you. Go siege down the capital. There are a lot of natives wanting to rise up over here. It's almost as if they don't appreciate what I'm trying to offer them by forcefully occupying their historical lands... With no Cassus Belly whatsoever. There's the Maori Separatists. Alright, well. We have to deal with it eventually, but since it's already fired and I can't prevent it, why worry about it? Diplo Rep from Trading in Ivory. Now there's something fun. Yeah! Yeah! I can do all sorts of crazy things to you people. Hey, Chagatai exists. Divert trade to me, please. Cool, that's a lot of extra cores that I can use eventually. Uh, anyone else not? Yep, Lan Na, divert trade, please. Sadia, divert trade, please. Thank you. Have not done anything over here for a little while. Uh, let's go ahead and reduce their relations and get even more Diplo Rep. I can spend a little bit of legitimacy, right? And there's the capital done. Okay, so we've got most of their forts at this point. Uh, I do need to actually fight their armies, though. 
Let's wait until they're locked. Well, I don't really want to fight them in the jungle then. Okay, he's actually getting a little close for comfort. He should be realizing that this is a bad place to attack and doesn't want to fight me though. Okay. You guys come together over here. Actually go here and then here. Let's just give them some full occupations. Let's make Lan Na sweat a little bit. We've won the Siege of Kale. Ah, yes. That province. Eat your greens, fools! That is an achievement I do not really desire to try. It'd be, uh, it'd be very difficult. I guess I'll pick up the institution spread, but I don't think it matters. I mean, I get... Okay, yeah, it's, it's helpful. I mean... In three years or so, we should find um, global trade firing. Having that get in my provinces a little bit faster could be nice. Let's actually get you guys together. Um, start sieging down the other people that I want to fight. Siege of Sukhothai. Wait until he's locked. He's locked. Kill him here. Okay. Doing very nicely. There goes Lan Na's troops. They've been severely injured. I don't even know where he's running. Don't think that I care. Uh, more manufactories. I guess we'll get some there. Training fields. Let's do a couple more of those. Siege down everything we can there. Uh, what else do we need to fight? It's actually almost it. We've got almost every fort at this point. We just need to take down Mong Pai. Maybe kill a few more troops so that they feel inclined to uh, abandon me. They probably are going to march all the way up here to the north again. And Oirat is fighting Yarkand. There's a fun thing. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's done. Go here, 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 and here to full occupy them. Men flocked to the colors. It is pleasing to see. That's a lot of extra manpower. I dig it. Go here. Go here. Take the general. Squish. Ming also, again, got a gift from Malaka. I don't understand what Malaka thinks to do. Uh oh. Clearly, you have a little bit too much influence all of a sudden. That should be a looming disaster, right? Dominance of the clergy? What happened? We gave it to them. I guess it just reset an, uh, an event that already existed. Otherwise, it should have gone over 100. That's the only thing I can think of as to why it didn't do that. Well, go on, CGU. Stop your crying. Gosh. Alright, so we're going to get a lot of aggressive expansion out of this. No way around it. But it has to be done. Um, radical reforms. Oh my god. So, here's the fun thing. If we pick this up, yeah, we get 500 Diplo power worth of Mercantilism, which is nice. We lose the stability, though. But once you pick this up, you can never have this happen again. If we fire both of them, we get a lot of power. And the next time we hire a Master of Mint and a Trader, there is a chance that this fires again and we can harvest even more power. I don't really need the admin power, but I'm just going to do it. Let's just get rid of both of them. Didn't I have the option to get another cheap trader right away? Yeah, there's another trade efficiency guy. So, there's more where that came from. Uh, missionary strength. Sure. Let's see if there's anything I can actually convert. Yes, actually. There's a few things I can convert in Africa in reasonable time. Okay, we are sitting at 99% war score now. Did you want this land? Apparently not. Well, if I say I'll give it to you anyway, Taungu, will you take it? Finding these people is a pain. There you are. Let's see if I can actually give this to them. Um, and this will go to... Ava. Or Ava. I don't know what it is. And this will also go to Taungu or whatever it's called. Okay, so this is ultimately what I want. Let's try piecing out with Manipur. 
Yep, that'll do it. That'll do it. 43. Ming currently cannot join a coalition. What would happen if I gave this to Lan Na just to make them stronger? Would Manipur accept all of that? Nope, that would require more than 100% war score. Never mind. What I think I might do is try instead to give this to Sadia. Hopefully Sadia just keeps trying to claim this. But yeah, let's give them something. There we go. How about that? Does that sound good? Cost me some power. Wait. That's too much. Ming can join. Okay, if we do this and just this, we do not have to worry about Ming, but I do start weakening them. Okay. Seems about perfect to me. Do it. Let it be so. Okay. Ming, 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 Ming. You now have... Did not seem to change your non-tributaries. I'm surprised about that. Shouldn't it have? Have I been misunderstanding this this whole time and people have been screaming at me in the comment section and I wasn't aware? Is that a thing that might have happened? We have some black flagged troops. Some. Let's try to walk them down that away. Hey, Bengal, would you please let me leave? Thank you. Bring them down here as well. And all of these guys are trapped, which I find hilarious. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, they're trapped. This a whole ar set of armies is completely trapped in Southeast Asia. Oops. How could this happen? Uh, wow. I, I done goofed. I done goofed pretty bad. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's, uh, that's very funny. Okay, well, we'll come back to all of that next time. But thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'm hoping... I can't tell if this is working the way that I thought it would, but either way, we have some extra borders here against Ming. We found a way to fight Lan Shang. If I can find a way to get some more troops down here, I'll gladly go and take over chunks of Mexico, but that'll have to wait until next time, so yeah. Hit that like button if you did enjoy. Leave a comment with your suggestions. Hit subscribe and that notify bell if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time.